Well, how do that, chums, does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, something strange has happened over in the whole No Man's Sky verse. So I'm going to jump on over to Tinterwebs and show you what I'm on about, people. Uh, there it is, I'm just bringing it up into the old background, but I'll just move myself over onto the screen. So yeah, there has been an update with the old Steam depots, and um, yeah, this time it's an experimental branch. Now, Ricey has shared out the actual patch notes over on the old Twitter space. Now, that might be a little bit small for you to read. So here you go. I brought it up over here. And I can zoom in a little bit here and uh, scroll on down. First of all, thanks to everybody else, blah, blah, blah. The same sort of stuff that they usually do. But here we go. Here's the experimental branch as of the 9th of 11. OK, cool. So here we are. Fixed an issue that could cause the starting multi-tool to be green instead of orange. In all my time of playing, I have never seen that happen. Fixed a rare issue that could allow frigates to attempt to call the player when they're not in a starship. I don't think I've ever had that happen either. Fixed an issue to, that caused multi-tools to appear too small within the UI. Oh yeah, I've had that happen. Yeah, with, mainly with the new sort of staffs and things like that, they get shrunk educated. Fixed an issue that caused a Quicksilver Synthesis companion to be difficult to interact with. I do find that when there's lots of people standing around him, I end up sending freaking game invites to people at a blinking time. I turn multiplayer off. Fixed a rare issue that could cause a multiple current mission paths to draw on the galactic map. On the galaxy map. Yeah, I've had that happen, but I just thought that was by design. Okay. Fixed an issue that could allow players to summon the space anomaly. Inappropriate locations. Uh, not had that happen. Um, normally, even if you summon it inside where there's a load of freaking meteorites, it sort of engulfs them. I haven't had any issue with that either. Fixed a number of issues with the multi-tool reload animation. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope they haven't gone and fixed the glitch running. I do like the glitch running. That's pretty cool. If you don't know what glitch running is, I'll find a video. I'll put it up there. It's quite entertaining. Yeah, that would be a shame if that's been fixed. OK, fixed an issue that prevented byte beat songs and message modules from appearing correctly. Uh, yes, OK, well, I, can't, I, I can't remember the last time I created a byte beat, not going to lie. I don't know many people that do, but, um, you know, some love it. So, yeah, awesome. A multiplayer status message is now sent when feeding creatures. I don't quite understand that one. I'll have to see that in practice to find out what it, yeah. Upgraded the Havoc implementation to 2023. Ooh, I wonder if that's got any enhancements, visible ones to us players, or whether it's just something that's back-end. Who freaking knows? Okay, support has been added for Chinese, Korean, Japanese, Russian, and Ukrainian text in multiplayer chat. Okay, pretty nice. Okay. I haven't managed to get multiplayer chat to even work on, on console. You used to be able to turn it so when you spoke, it put what you said into the voice chat over doesn't work or hasn't for a long time fixed an issue that could cause derelict freighters to be inaccessible on mac okay these all seem to be mac issues here fixed an issue that prevented terrain manipulation from working correctly on mac we've had that on other platforms before it takes a little while before it starts manipulating fixed an issue affecting mac users with a 64-bit processor okay i think scottish rod might be happy with that one i know it was running terrible on his his 64-bit processor. Fixed a number of issues related to texture streaming on Mac. Again, I know that affected um, Scottish Rod all that time ago, but I think they might have fixed that some time ago as well. Introduced significant visual improvements to particle rendering on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Introduced a number of significant visual improvements and performance optimizations for FSR2 on Switch. Fixed a number of visual issues when taking screenshots in photo mode on Switch. They're all Switch updates. Nothing that really mentions much about fixing the crashes or the plague in Switch. Okay, alright, fine. Fix the number of issues with foveate rendering on terrain edits on PSVR 2. Improve the latency of eye tracking for foveate rendering on PSVR 2. Fix the number of issues with foveate rendering of particle systems on PSVR 2. Fix an issue that could cause flickering on the logo and legal notices screen on boot during PSVRs and stuff. The problem I had with PSVR was ever, whenever I turned right, it wasn't when I turned left, it was only when I turned right, the, the, where you got your multi-tool, it would have lag. I don't know why. Very odd. Very odd indeed. But I've done a video on it. I reported it to Hello Games. I put the video up there so you can see the problems I had. Got fed up with that. Sold my PSVR 2, bought an Xbox and got myself Starfield, you know, with the proceeds. 
anyways, moving on. Fixed a PC VR input issue that prevented players from tapping on the wrist menus in build mode. Okay. Fixed a number of control issues when using Windows Mixed Reality VR headset. Very cool. Hmm, I wonder if that's a hint that they might be working on the Quest Meta implementation with this one. Hmm, interesting, Coolio. Introduced a performance optimization for PC related shader management. Introduced a significant memory optimization. Introduced optimization for player animations. Lovely, all good stuff. Okay, now there's a load of crashes here. A load of crashes. A load of crashes been fixed. Now these seem to be across the board. So it probably also means Switch, probably also means Mac. So if you have problems with crashes, you might want to jump back in. But there's a lot there. Uh, I, I won't read them all out. Um, you can see them on screen. Hopefully they're quite clear. I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see those. See if they're related to you and your console. There you are. Lovely jubbly. Should have had it that big from the start, shouldn't I, people? But here we go. Let's scroll on down. Let's see if there's anything that sort of um, mentions no... There's nothing to say. Ah, um, nothing about that decal that seems to be broken inside the Quicksilver store that's due to unlock fairly shortly. But there we go. It has been pinned. It's probably important. There's no mention of any other sort of update on the horizon. I have got experimental branch on my actual um, my, la my laptop. I've hit it up. There's nothing on the patch notes. There's nothing inside the Quicksilver store in way of new Quicksilver items in there. Um, Kurt has already hit me up, he's away from home at the moment, but as soon as he is home he's going to do a deep dive into the game files, find me anything that he finds in there, just in case there's anything hiding, and I'll be sure to let you know if we find well, anything Charles. in there. Well, Okay, so Dragon Sire has just hit me up as I was making my videos. You can see that I was also speaking to Assistant for No Man's Sky, but if we jump on over to these strings of text that have changed inside of the game files... Now, I'm not going to lie, a lot of these don't mean buttcuss to me, to be honest, people. But there are a couple of ones that have jumped out to me. It's like UI mode select, expedition underscore remix. And then it's got a redux there as well for expedition number and name. So it looks like we might be getting some kind of redux or reruns of expeditions. Now we've already had three this year. And it looks like they've been tinkering about with some of the creatures in perhaps the S10, that's the season 10 or redux or the actual Redux of 10 with Daily Limit Met. But there's also quite a lot here on underwater and whale sinking abilities, trying to find the underwater creature. So maybe they're going to tweak some of the remits for some of these creatures on this expedition path. Perhaps it was a little bit hard to find them. I'm not 100% sure. But a lot of these are to do with Season 9 or the Redux of 9. So we've got that going on as well, people. But anyway, scrolling down, hopefully this is going to mean something to some of you out there inside the verse. It got thrown over to me at the last minute and I thought, well, rather than make a whole new video on it, I might as well just contain it in side of this one but hopefully once uh, Curtis Homely does a deep dive we might have some sort of images maybe to go with some of these there are lots of image tags in here I don't know whether that means that we're going to get new images or whether it's just calling to images inside of the game files sorry I'm not a coder um, although I can kind of read code it, it is a bit jibbery jibbery jabbery to me um, if I don't jump inside the PC file so I don't know enough to actually talk to this in a decent enough way but yeah some of you guys in the viewerverse hopefully you're looking at this right now saying ah oh, oh look there there that yeah I, I I don't know enough to do that so there you are people it is what it is but that came over from Dragon Sire so I want to do a massive salute to Mondo thank you Dragon Sire for sending me something whether it's something awesome or whether it's something not so awesome I don't know I'm not specialized it has only okay. moved over to experimental an hour ago the internal branch has been updated a few times so far um yeah quite a few times so far in fact so yeah if i hit on update history you can actually see just how often it's been freaking updated so to the experimental sort of well to the yeah, experimental branch yeah, so that one just got updated just a little while ago two hours ago like yes and then when you look at the uh, internal branch that's been updated four hours ago four hours ago 22 hours ago you can you can carry on going you can look at this to your heart's content but there's been quite a few updates to the internal branch so there we go, people. Um, that's everything I've got for you. Obviously, as soon as I've got more news, I'll be sure to let you know, people inside the view of us. I guess I will. And uh, yeah, please smash all those sort of buttons. You know what you're doing. Subscribe, like. If you've done all that already, share this video with friends. Yeah, I want to get my my 
my channel out there in front of more eye peepers inside of the viewerverse. I guess people. Till next time, salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.